So how y'all doing? Figured I'd come out here and make a video on this so uh windshield frame. I haven't made a video in a while. I've been busy doing things and getting things done around here. Nothing really too crazy. Or nothing too good to film anyway. But first about time I get back started on this windshield frame. Finally got the shop cleared out so I can get in there and get this get these metal pieces welded. I ain't done any more to the Jeep or anything since the last video, so pretty much right where I left off still. So I'm gonna get it in there and get this metal welded in. So got that here getting ready to weld it. So basically what I'm gonna do I'm going to weld these three pieces of metal together, but I'm not going to weld it to the frame. I'm going to weld it to it, or weld, weld them together, and take it off, so that way I can grind the back side. So it won't look like it's been messed with. Alright, so I got the things off. Got some tacks. On both sides I've just been tacking and hammering tacking and hammering about to flip it over and do the back side now all right so I got it welded they're ugly but they're okay kind of had to do little little tacks tack hammer tack hammer tack hammer to get it right but it's it's probably gonna have some waves in it but it'll be okay I gotta grind it I'm gonna grind it on this side before I take it off just to make it easier then I'll grind the back side when I take it off and then I'm gonna go back and weld weld it onto the corners I'm scared to do it now because I figured it'll weld it to the frame don't want that to happen so weld it onto the edges grind it smooth and then I can start working on the rest of it getting this paint off which luckily I don't have a lot to remove since I took this whole section of it out, but I'll be back when I got some more. All right, so ground them down both sides. So looks pretty good. Now I got to do this frame, get it ready to go. And we're going to weld them together. Alright, so I'm back out here on this windshield frame. It's the next day. And I'm going to try to start getting some of this old uh, paint off up here. There's not a lot on it. Like you can see there, it's pretty much bare metal. But where there is paint, it's going to be hard to get it. So I swung by Lowe's today getting off work. And I grabbed a gallon of this stripper here so I'm gonna see how good it does I'm just gonna put it on with a paintbrush and I've used stripper before on this Jeep to get some of this paint off and um, worked pretty good but it's a different brand it didn't have the brand that I used so we'll see how it does but uh, I'm gonna get this set up and get some of this on here and See how it does. It's been about 10 minutes. I put one coat all on it, and you can kind of see it's starting to starting to roll it up. So took that old blue paint up. Like I said, there wasn't much paint right in there, but it'll make it a lot easier it's sanding. So I'm going to let this set and do its thing, and I'm going to move it and blow it off with the pressure washer and check it out and probably put more on it. Alright, All right, so I got the second coat of that stuff on. This is the back side right here. This is the main reason why I was wanting to use stripper, because that would be hard to sand all that. So... 
I've already pressure washed the front off. I've got more stripper on it. And hoping this side might come clean. It's eating it pretty good, so I'll show you when I blow it off. Alright, so this is after the second coat. I'm starting to see the original uh brown primer, so this thing had like five different paint jobs. Had the original green and then whatever that light green is and then that green and then another green and then um, blue and then more green. So, and then black, it also had black. So it's painted a lot, but uh, show you the back side. It come out pretty good. About the same. See some more of that primer. I don't know. I think I'm gonna hit it again. Cause that primer, I've learned it don't. That stuff don't touch that primer. So if I can get it stripped off to just that primer I'll be in good shape but uh, yeah it's coming along a lot less work than what it would have been all right so it's been a few days that's my last clip so yesterday I come out here and put some more of that stripper on it and I pretty much got it all the way down to the original primer so I think I've got it good enough to where I don't have to do a lot of sanding but right now I'm trying to figure out these holes I'm thinking about keeping those on the top but I'm debating on it I gotta knock them out there pulled in pretty good so I'm gonna straighten those out and get this thing sanded down and get my piece get the spot wheel holes drilled into it get that screw back in place and weld it up but yeah it's coming along pretty good I'll be back when I got something else all right I'm nobody man didn't go to school for it didn't do anything but I got this kit right here I've had this kit for a while I've used it but what I'm getting at here is I bought this and these are okay for some things see how that's flat and that works out good sometimes but if you don't hit it straight you'll make marks in your metal what I found is a curved, see how that's round? These work really, really good for knocking dents out, that is. Now, if you're just trying to straighten up something like that, it's best to use those. But for a ding and like a hood or a fender or a door, something you can get to the back side of, I found you don't even have to have a, you don't even have to have a dolly with this. You can like tap it out. My old 65 truck, I used a hammer like this, rounded, and I got every single ding out of that hood with no dolly. You couldn't even tell it. And it's because it was round. If I would have used that, I'd have been having to put Bondo back in, its, in the spot. Because, I mean, you can see it. You see how that's kind of, it's raised a little bit. I could take this knock it right out I've been going at these a little bit I've got a few spots that are raised up I might have to use this hammer here that's just a little tip if you guys are looking for body hammers nothing wrong with these kits they'll get you by they'll get it done and maybe I'm just using them wrong like I said I'm not a body man but I found these are the ticket 
rounded. You can use a ball paint hammer too, but eh, I like a body hammer. This is a homemade body hammer. Someone made it. Blacksmith made it. They did a good job too. It works. Figured I'd share that with you guys if you're having trouble with body work. Alright, I've been tapping on this thing a little bit with that round hammer. It's coming out pretty good. Getting some of those high spots knocked down. A lot of these are, in, are a lot of the metal stretched. So I knock it from one side with the, with the dolly and the hammer. And it deforms it. So I'm just going to have to weld them up and then bond them. That's the, really the only way to fix it. But uh, it'll be okay. Won't really notice it. Said I may keep them. I don't know. Because I'm going to put a bikini top in this groove right here. So you won't really see this. It'll be capped off. And I may end up having to put. Um, put bolts through it. To help hold it. But hopefully not though. It should stay. But in case it doesn't. I think I'm going to keep these. I'm going to put a rear view mirror on this one. So, I am going to end up getting these holes, these holes on the side here, welding them up too, but someone just had it, got like that, someone got a drill for Christmas, and they wanted to test it, so they went out there to the old Jeep. <laughs> That's what it looks like anyway. Holes that don't even make any sense. But yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Hopefully, I'll have this piece welded in and get moving on with it. Pretty much done for the day, though. We got a thunderstorm rolling in, so I'll be back out here maybe tomorrow. Do a little bit more to it. All right, I've been working on this thing a little more. And I pretty much got, got it sanded. Got all the chunk chunky rust that I can get off all the way around I ain't sanded the whole thing I just sent been sanding right here because I'm planning on putting that uh, patch in and welding it all up and then I'm gonna finish sanding everything else and pour uh, POR 15 in between the new and the old seal it up good both top and bottom I would do it now but when you go to welding, it's just going to catch on fire. So I'll do that after, after the fact. Seal it up, which it should work pretty good. should seal it up good. Hopefully it won't never rust out again. But I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to keep them on the back side. But I'm going to get rid of them on the front side since I cut halfway through them. Just weld them up. I ain't going to put windshield wipers back on this thing. So... I do have to drill those out when I put the new piece on, but that shouldn't be too hard. It's coming along. Alright, so I got my new patch that I made up here. And I'm going to fix and start laying out where I want my spot welds. Now, it's not really a big deal where I put them. But, you know, I want one, like, right there, right there, probably one there, probably one right there, on all four corners. And these aren't going to do you anything. They're just screw holes. So you need at least quarter holes to get good penetration so that's what I'm gonna be doing now they do make a tool that you can stamp spot welds in but I don't have one of those so permanent marker and a drill that's all I got but if anyone out there wonders why don't you just weld here and then you know all along there and that would hold it but 
you're not going to get very good strength by doing that and it's going to look like crap on the sides so you need those spot welds especially in this middle section because it has to fold over it'll just bend this up before it folds this so with the spot weld all the way across here it'll roll under a lot better and I might have to definitely roll it under because of that right there so I'm gonna get started drilling all the spot welds grind the back side and get my lineup screws back and I'll be ready to weld it in all right got all my little holes marked with the punch so I actually just said to heck with the pen and just took the center punch and made marks that way so now I'm gonna use my drill press knock them out all right well I got all my spot wheels drilled and I got the piece screwed back on it didn't quite line back up like I had it before I welded it but it did pretty good so pretty happy with it I can't weld it though because well that storm is finally here and so if it start raining on me so I'm pretty much done for the day but I'm gonna try to come back out here tomorrow and get these welded in so I guess I'll see you then all right I'm about to start welding that all screwed on there good and one little tip when you're welding like this is such a big gap between this screw and that screw I'm gonna put a clamp on the sides between every spot all the way around I may not do it here just because well I probably will I'll probably do it here but uh, and uh, I ground the back side get the burrs from where I drilled the holes off so it'll flip set flush I'm gonna start welding all right so got all my spot wells filled in all the way around, got it tacked up top here. Wasn't wanting to line up too good over here. And I'm not sure why, but it might be a little too tight, I don't know. But I think it'll be okay. I'll just have to do a little bit of extra body work up there. And now I gotta do the fun part, which is that. Not really looking forward to that, because it's like a drop off so I'm gonna have to twist this tweak that and then I've got to roll this edge all the way across and weld it on the back side so <sighs> getting it done though well I got one side down wasn't too difficult um, I just basically used two flathead screwdrivers and worked it tacked it and then finally got it, had to use the hammer too, got to where it's flush. There is going to be a little bit of a dip in it, so I will have to do some body work, which, I mean, what do you expect? So, now I've got to do this side, which I don't know if this one's going to be any difficulter, but I guess I'm fixed to find out. All right, so... I got it welded on both sides and I rolled it all the way across. Did really, really good. I think I mean it. Rolled right under there. Looks just like it did fact from the factory. So I think it worked out pretty good. Now I just gotta weld this top. And then pull the screws out and weld them up. Grind it down and be ready to sand it and paint it. All right, got it all welded up. And 
I welded it underneath too, just a few spots. But, uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little gobby, but it's thin sheet metal too, so I had to kind of take it easy on it. But it did okay. Kind of humped up a little bit. You can kind of see it. Low spot there. High spot, low spot. So I am going to have to do some body work to it, but it ain't got to be perfect. So I'm going to start grinding it. Alright. Got the old ground down, sanded, got holes drilled. Looks pretty good, a little bit. A little bit of a low spot there, but it's not too bad. Looking good so far. Alright, well, got it all welded up. Got all those holes welded in. Well, most of them. I still got a few. I ran out of gas, so I'm about to get some more gas, but can't get it right now. Holiday, so I'll try to get some and get those holes fixed. And I gotta degrease this thing, get that brand new metal. It's got like oil on it. I gotta get that off. And sand it down and do a little bit of body work, shoot some primer on it, and paint it. So, that's going to do it for this video. And uh, <clears throat> hope y'all have a good 4th of July, or have had a good 4th of July, I guess, because when you see this video, it'll be over. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. And, Sorry I haven't made a video lately, but just been been busy, a lot of things going on around here and haven't really had time to, so thank you guys for watching. Bye.